William Allen here for GetMoreSports.com, and we're checking in with the SEC. Uh, Kentucky was the clear favorite coming into this season, but we were looking at a much improved second ring of teams. Uh, at least that's what we expected. We expected that ring to include the likes of Texas A&M, possibly even Vanderbilt, uh, possibly Georgia, certainly LSU. Uh, these are programs that we expected to kind of take a step forward coming into this season. Uh, Auburn even definitely taking a step forward. And we've seen some inconsistency from that group, but we've also seen a lot of inconsistency from Kentucky. Uh, is Kentucky the favorite? That's the real question here. Uh, I mean, they only have two losses on the year, and they're still easily the most talented team in the conference. And in my opinion, they have maybe the best coach, but you have to ask yourself, does this team have the it factor? Do they have what it takes to get stops? Do they have what it takes to score the ball from downtown? They've shot the ball terribly on this young season. Uh, Alex Poitras is not a threat from deep. Scott Labasieri is being put in back-to-back -back, or back-to-the-basket situations where he's not at his best. Uh, Jamal Murray is just starting to hit his offensive stride. And Tyler Ulis has not been good uh, no creating his own offense. And that's going to be a struggle for them going forward. So, obviously, I, I think this conference is absolutely wide open. Uh, but two of the other storylines that I talk about in the article uh, are Auburn and Alabama, two programs that have really taken a step forward. I thought Alabama was going to be absolutely terrible. Uh, they beat Wichita State and Notre Dame in the young season. Uh, Avery Johnson has some mojo going down there in Tuscaloosa. I think they're going to be a top four team within this conference in two to three years. Uh, that's how quickly this turnaround could happen. And Auburn, you got to love what Bruce Pearl is doing down there. Cream Canty is one of the best players in the conference. Uh, they've got a really deep and athletic front line. Guys starting to come around uh, to their roles that they play with this team. And again, it's all about energy for the Tigers. I don't think they're going to lose many home games. Check out who I do have them losing to in the article. But obviously, this is a team that's ready to take the next step in an SEC conference that looks wide open.